Hey guys. What's up? up? Today we're in Grantville, Georgia. And we're staying in Morgan's apartment. It's the clear apartment. Rick, I gotta clear. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. Look at that. Let's check it out. <laughs> So excited this is we've been trying to get in here for a tour but guess what we're staying the night in Morgan's apartment Morgan's apartment is an Airbnb well not the actual apartment that they use the film but it's a private residence you can stay across the way it has five bedrooms a full kitchen a washer and dryer and a big old bathroom and it's all decked out in different Walking Dead themes all right, this hallway is super cool. The stairs have sayings on them. They got some cool murals here in the hall. And also this scary zombie, it scares me every single time. Right when you walk inside Morgan's apartment, there's a cool King County mural right behind me in real life. The King County Cafe is really a train depot right across the street. You will see more of that later. But right now, let's get inside Morgan's apartment and see where they filmed the episode clear. Do you know who I am? Do you see who I am? People wearing dead people's faces. Morgan, listen. No, I don't know you. You do know me. I don't know you. We don't want to go into too much detail about the episode, but this mural, of course, is recreated, but it is on the same exact wall in the episode as well as there's tape on the ground for where the actors need to stop their marks. Isn't that crazy? So this is probably my favorite part of the, of the experience is this is the room where all the action happens in the episode. You have the cot in front of me, you have the windows and guns beside me, and then all the sayings on all the walls. They've been redone, but whoever redid these in this apartment did a pretty good job. With, with the same location and even some of the sizing is the same. But you know, it, it varies, but dude, this is like we're in the set of, of, of that episode. I'm stoked. Are you gonna spend the night directly in this room? <laughs> if you probably could. You got you know, the cot? You got the, I could sleep on the same cot. Probably not, they probably don't want you doing that, but you know, <laughs> and I would probably be uncomfortable, but you know, maybe. <laughs> Mo, you gotta clear, you gotta clear. You gotta clear it. <laughs> This is the marker I'm kneeling on right now. Andrew Lincoln, Rick, would have been kneeling right here. He'd be like, Morgan, you okay? Rick, you got to clear. And I see red. I see red. Everything is red. Everything I see is red. And I do it. I see red. I see red. Everything is red. Everything I see is red. And I do it. You ever watch an episode of The Walking Dead on the set of The Walking Dead? This is way beyond surreal. Literally, Rick, Morgan, right back there. It all happened in this room. And what favorite part of this so far? So far it has to be this room. This is where most of the action takes place in the episode where we see Morgan and Rick interacting. So this has to be the best part of the, the room. Yeah. Are you so excited that you're showing no emotion right now? That I'm not showing emotion? Yeah, you were the super straight laced. Hey, it's cool and we're here, but I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours in Morgan's clear apartment from The Walking Dead. We didn't get eaten. No zombies to no report. No zombies. We didn't have to clear any zombies. Pretty good night's sleep. Super comfortable. Super comfortable. Great place. It's like any Airbnb, but it's a movie set as well. Yeah, you can <laughs> you can uh, take a nap, come over here into the movie set. <laughs> yeah, so if you're a Walking Dead fan, check them out. We'll leave the links and stuff in the description. While in Georgia, we're always on the hunt for Walking Dead filming locations. We're going to use this map right here Morgan left us, and we're going to go hunt them down. All right, we are here 
at the away with you wall if you know this this is specific to one episode and everyone knows it by name it's probably the easiest episode to name and that is clear and this is morgan's episode everyone loves morgan come on if you don't like morgan i don't know about you but this is morgan's wall we find morgan and he's clearing the bodies and he's going back there and he's killing and burning zombies. Morgan is clearing zombies and burning them in this field back here. There's no dead bodies, but it looks pretty cool. We are in front of the King County Cafe. And this is the scene where Carl wants to go inside. He knows that there's a picture of his family. It's himself, his mom, and dad. And he wants that picture. For baby Judith. How you can tell this is the exact building is obviously the shape of the building and the shape of the door. But if you look real close at the top of the archway on the bricks, you can see the remnants of King County. Under the paint, it's been painted over, but under the paint and on the brick, it says King County. On the brick, under the paint. All right, brother, I'm down in Hogansville doing some Walking Dead filming locations, brother. I got my 14-inch pythons, brother. Walkamania, Walking Dead mania is gonna run all over you, brother. We're at the Grand Hotel, and this is the scene where Beta comes to listen to his record one last time before he goes up on the second floor and he commands all the zombies to follow him. I wanted to come check out this location because I am a fan of the actor that plays Beta. His name's Ryan Hurst. I followed him since I was a kid, so I was watching Remember the Titans. I've watched Sons of Anarchy. I've watched The Outsiders. And now Walking Dead. All right, we're in Noonan, Georgia, and we're doing a deep dive from season three, the Walker Arena. Brother versus brother, brother. Only the winner survives, brother. Let's go see if we can see into the arena brother. Who's your money on? Merle, Daryl, or the Biters? <laughs> All right, so looking through these gates right here, you see the remnants of the Walker Arena. It's totally overgrown. We're here about eight years too late. They filmed it a long time ago, but you can still see all the rows of windows. You know, that's about what is left. Here is the inside shot of the factory. It's pretty much empty. All the glass windows or what's left of them. Nature is taking it back. Dude, check it. Somebody left one of those uh, painted rocks. You know, when you're traveling and people leave painted rocks and stuff, it's this guy or person. Jose? Yeah, but that's cool. It's a skull. It's kind of like a like Walker-ish, and we're here at the arena where Merle and Daryl went toe-to-toe -to -toe for all the marbles, brother! Yeah! <laughs> Walking Dead filming location. We got season three, episode one, and we see Michonne outside of this deer cooler place, and she's in there holed up the zombies are coming. The sign and front exterior are pretty much the same. Sportsman's Deer Cooler. It's like we're inside the TV show right now. Awesome stay at Morgan's apartment. I hope you enjoyed the other Walking Dead filming locations as well. If you're out in Georgia, check out Walking Dead filming locations and definitely stay at Morgan's apartment if you're in Grantville, Georgia. Any final thoughts? Amazing. Amazing. And until the next Walking Dead Family Locations video where we get to sleep on a set and watch a Walking Dead movie, video, TV show, and an actual Walking Dead set. Well, well bye. bye.